month. We just crossed 3% for the first time since 2014. You heard Julie Hyman talk about it. We're back below it now at 2.992. But we want to bring in Bloomberg Bonds reporter Brian Chapada to talk to us about this. This was the psychological level. This was the level Jeff Gunlock talked about, Scott Minard, lots of different people talked about it. Now that we've breached it, does the selling pick up pace? Well, so far we've seen the level hold, you know, breached 3% and now we've come back down just a little bit uh, in yield. But I think the fact that it just got through there, you know, headlines are out, everyone can sort of say, okay, this is not some sort of magical number that can't be crossed. We hit 3%, now let's focus on, you know, the task at hand. We got a bunch of auctions coming up uh, in the next few days. We have the Treasury's quarterly refunding statement coming out next week. Expectations are for even more supply coming. So 3% is not some sort of, you know, lie in the sand that cannot be crossed. Crossed it briefly. We'll probably cross it again in the coming days. And, you know, now we can sort of focus on the yield curve and all the other things that are going to, you know, impact the market going forward. Well, apparently the next level to watch is 3.05, at which point the 3% would become a floor and not particularly a ceiling. But talk to us a little bit about volume, because yesterday it wasn't the most voluminous trading day ever. Yeah, uh, some of the notes that I was seeing uh, was that the 10-year actually commanded a good portion of the volume, which, as you mentioned, was not particularly uh, high. So uh, the question is going to be going forward here. Now there's auctions coming up. Will the volume pick up will there be a sort of expectation of a large you know sort of uh, buying and selling flow coming in right around these levels um, so you know I, I think we're looking forward to the auctions and seeing how that's gonna you know take shape and you know whether the 10-year will react to you know the two-year touching basically 250 now which is pretty crazy because that's a level that we thought that you know the 10-year couldn't cross at a certain point last year 